Howdy guys, in today's video with TrueCut RG Works, we're going to be looking at the second tab for the system work plate, which will be the output. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back on the program here. Now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini series on the um, system work plate, which is the panel here on the right, and also um, known as the control panel. I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can follow along. And then um, also on a side note, in case your uh, panel is not open, you can always go to your view on your main menu, and then you navigate till we find the system work plate. Well, today's video, we're going to be looking at the first section. Now, this is only relevant if you have a laser cutter with a feeder. So if you do not leave this one on, and if you do and you want to use the feeder, you can always enable this. Now, if we enable it, we have a few different options here. Now, uh, just for those that don't know, a feeder is kind of like um, you can, let's say you've got your material and you can have it longer than normal and it will feed it in. Let's say, yeah, I want to make multiple copy, uh, cuts of the same design and you feed it in, it cuts it, feeds in the next piece, cuts it, and so forth. Now, there's quite a few settings here. Um, I'm only going to be covering the most essential. The rest is kind of like uh, you have to trial and error to try to find out the, what's the best um, fitting for you. So first of all, here yeah, we've got count and distance. So how this will work is how many counters are going to do it for. So let's say you want to cut four of them and then every time it must go at a 500 unit or material unit distance so then it'll go 500 four, 500 four, 500 four. in any case so now let's say for some reason it has stopped um on the last cut and it didn't feed it so after that it was done now you want to carry on doing it you can always go um, feed before cutting so this way it will first feed and then it'll cut where normally if you fed it already, it's going to cut and then feed it. So that's what that setting's for. And then under the, um, uh, we also have a few settings here for manual input and so forth. I normally would recommend you just leave it on manual input. Then we've got stuff like compensation, pause after feeding. So let's say um, you want to make sure every time everything is right, your material is nicely aligned and so forth. You can always say pause after feed. So we'll cut, feed it and then pause. Then also you can do the partition for overrange and you can also um, have a few settings in here if you want to refine your feeding. So otherwise, yeah, that is it on the um, first few uh, uh, settings here. But like I mentioned, if you have a feeder, make sure you enable, uh, not make sure, but um, enable this. If you don't have one, make sure it's the same. Otherwise, we had to head here to softwaretraining.co.za. You guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And also, you can isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the videos you're looking for, just go here, request a training video. Then we will make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.